All right, I am Sir Tap Tap. Welcome back to another episode of One. We just did some very hot fixes right now. We um, just got that audio issue fixed. The, At least hopefully. The fresh map file or LMU. What? What are? Is that just generic? Like all data in that is it's the uh, specific map tree. Mm. Oh, one thing I was wondering, um, I don't usually ever version, like, give explicit version numbers to my stuff at work, because it's all, you know, I don't do public releases and stuff where that would matter. How do you decide what's version 4.5, what's version 5.0, what, what methodology do you have with that? Before it was based on what zones were done. With 4.5, it was basically just because it was mainly a combat fix with some extra areas thrown in, but it still did, never progressed beyond what was available in 4.0. That makes sense. Okay. And with 4.8, it does go a little bit further, but not too much, but it also has a lot overhauled from 4.5. That's right, Parker. Yes? <laughs> He loves being part of my videos. I don't think it played that sound, did it? I didn't hear it, so hopefully it's fixed. It must be. Oh, that was the other one. I think I must have missed something in here. And uh, without any specific spoilers, if, there, if I'm about to like do something I should save before or something, just give me a hint towards that, I guess. I do want to get all of the endings, and I don't have any idea how they work yet, so... I don't get in here. Ah, Parker, don't, don't do that. I've got one of those Aeron chairs, which like, you know, it's just like a mesh on your back, and <laughs> Parker loves to put his claws right through that, and then <laughs> that goes right into me. That's right! That's right, Parker. And this is one happy boy. Why don't you just pull up here if you're gonna be in the huh? One thing I, went, I was wondered, was, is there any actual logic to like the elemental associations of enemies in the original off or were there any added when you made this like enemies that are like this are plastic or anything like that or is it just random uh, for the most part i think it's just based on elemental weakness with specific enemy types but for their own Elemental types, I don't think there is. So you mean like shadow like enemies like these guys tend to have a specific thing associated with them or No, they I don't believe they do. From all I know is most of the combat fix was done by Felix. Ooh, that's a nice face. Crawling Phantasm of Darkness. What's Amnesia do? No, um, well, that's me. It's, it's probably one of the worst damage you could get. It halves your attacks and it uh, mutes you. Oh. I like to think of it as your character forgetting how to fight. <laughs> Sound issues definitely gone. That was a very good. fast fix. Um, I'm missing. Huh? Mm. On the road to corruption. There's gotta be something in this room. There we go. Oh, 
always get caught up when there's like background decorative items that just suddenly you gotta do something with them. Oh, I'm gonna talk to it. Whoa. Think you self nuked. Yeah, and if you mess up, you gotta go back. In terms of dev time, would you say the uh, the general breakdown between like, story and writing stuff versus scripting versus doing all the graphics and stuff? Well, before I started the game, I had a general idea of the story already. It has changed some since starting, but definitely more of it goes towards coding and making the assets. One of the bigger things that changed the story some was Blake was never originally meant to be a party member. Oh, huh. But because people seemed to like him so much, I decided to make him a bigger part of the story. <laughs> How far had you gotten when, uh, when you decided to change that? Luckily, it was just the first demo, so there wasn't really all much to it. What are your favorite enemies in the original Lost? Uh, favorite enemies? I do like the Von Gacy in Zone 3. Let me check real quick what the enemies were. I'm a big fan of pretty much all of the burnts. Oh no. I oh yeah, I do like the, the pastel burnt, the one with the like dinosaur head. Yeah, the, the, the dinosaur head and the, the, the little guy just peeks out. The little guy out of inside. It. Yeah, yeah I, I do love that one. And the whale, of course, is classic. Oh, yeah, you can't ever forget the whale. How does it fit in the mall and why is it flying? I'm just a big sucker for enemies that just take up even more than the whole screen. And you just get a piece of them. Yeah. They're bigger than what you see. And that's just something I like in, um, I always like the, uh, SNES RPG kind of thing, where your characters are kind of smaller and over to the side, because, like, you know what you look like. So all of the space is dedicated to giving you a look at what the enemy looks like. Oh, hey, surprise the enemy. I think that's our first time. <laughs> um, is this. There we go. And then an encounter right after. <laughs> that's usually how it goes. Does this area have an increased encounter rate? It kind of feels like it, but. I feel like I lowered it later on. I did notice one time I got an encounter, like three steps from another thing. How does... Um, as a kid, I was always fascinated by how games did the random encounter thing, because, like, turns out some games were... there would be, like, um, an minimum number of steps you need to take, and, yeah. um... So is it just... Like it's, a, it's a random jumble between that number of steps. Mm. So there's, like, a minimum and a maximum? Let me see what the encounter rate is for this specific room. Apparently it's, an, it's supposed to be an enemy encounter every supposed 95 steps. I end up just like him. Cube? Yeah, that, <laughs> that kind of stuff leads to fun things. Oh, uh, that's just them. Um, in some games they'll be like, um, speedrun tricks where you just like you take four steps and stop 
And then you can never get an encounter in certain games. Oh yeah. That was a like weird. Some people cheat Pokemon with like the Safari Zone. Oh yeah, you can just spin around. Place. Yeah. I think I figured that out as a kid, in fact. Or you could just fish constantly for Jatinis, which, if I recall, they're pretty much one of the only things other than Kangaskhan that's like reasonable yeah, to like. Chancy. Yeah. This is Safari Zone. Oh, well, this is the head one. This is one in Gen 8. I haven't played Gen 8. Oh, I guess. I guess Judge has that, like, cat pounce thing. I like his attack animation. Mm hmm. Still cubes. Uh, what did we unlock? Should probably go to the save cube. Oh yeah, didn't you say there was some connection to the um in the original off to the from the add-ons or the guardians? According to Mortis, yes. Where he said the add-ons represented the broken promises of the guardians. Hmm. I played it very early and with um but was at the time a fan translation that kind of, I think, was eventually upgraded to being an official one. Uh, mm -hmm. So, there was a few things I missed in my original playthrough that probably more recent fandom people got, like, um, the implication that uh, the Queen is the batter's wife was, I think, the big thing that that translation totally missed, and I think some of the other... I know one of the big ones that a lot of, uh, some of the faulty translations confused was how Hugo was their son, but he's actually their father. Oh. Yeah, it's, I remember something like I looked up in the wiki and there was something like, he's their child but he made them? And it's like I'm tr not sure how that like, works. I think it's like the desire for like a parental figure since his parents were never there. Hmm. So he created them in their place. I, mean, I play, when, when I played off, there was uh, I had to- I looked for videos, I got stuck somewhere in the room. There was some kind of puzzle, I don't even remember quite what. Um, and there was only one video I could find, and I don't think it even had the solution. <laughs> I was like, I had to stop the playthrough for a while. And it was so unknown that I didn't even- I couldn't even figure that out, or I couldn't find, like, a guide or anything, so... <laughs> I, um... I played it early, but I played it so early that a lot of the fandom structure, I guess, didn't really exist yet, so I... There's probably a lot of stuff that's been figured out um, and ex elaborated on by Ghost between, you know, the release and now. But I'm in the dark yeah. on. I know there are some things that some people still aren't fully aware of. Yeah, one thing I did notice but... looking back, um, and something that... <laughs> I actually noticed this because you were using biblical names um, on some of the new Guardians, but I noticed um, the... There's a couple ancestors of Noah, like Enoch and, uh, who else? Japhet, um, both relatives of some degree, hello, of, um, Noah, and I forget. I think Dedan is as well, Dedan? There's a few Dedans in the Bible, I think, actually. And, um, I hadn't picked up on that. And this yeah, is especially, um... Especially relevant because the um, the the add-ons are named are their classes or something. It's like the um, like Father, Son, Holy Spirit or something, right? Something. I like believe that. so. Yeah. So that draws a more clear line there. That I forget if I even checked. Oh. Okay. Oh, that. <laughs> That's probably That's not intention. No, it is not. Spooky lights. I love architecture like that. I, I, fi I just my Final Fantasy senses. I, I figured as soon as I touched that searchlight that I would get an encounter. It actually does now in 4.8. <laughs> you cannot pass. OK. 
Okay, Gandalf. Whoa. Where are you? He's like one of those anatomy models, almost. But gooey. Mannequin. Phantasmagorial infested mannequin. Speaking of the lore stuff from the original game, was there any particular explanation of why there was the elements of meat, smoke, and so on? Or is it just there to be strange? I think it's just in there to be strange. With a game like that, it's kind of always hard to make that call. I did like the strange elements, um, at least lore-wise. It makes an impact. Yeah, though, in terms of combat, it was always like, oh, okay, whale is, is weak to, to, to smoke, okay? <laughs> there was never a consistency, and even, like, even internally, I never, if there is something specific, like, if Elsons are always weak to meat or something, I, I never really picked up on it in my playthrough. Oh, Pedalo time. Enjoy the ride. Thank you! <laughs> the one nice man again. <laughs> Wait, I want to see if I can. I want to see if I can go up the waterfall now. <laughs> yeah, it probably just has I know that's the. Uh, something that's not supposed to be happening. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just the default. Oh, uh, oh! I wonder if it's that's why. But it's probably just like the default tile of can walk on this. Uh, not sure if I was supposed to do that. Oh yeah, this is a new place. Okay. The good old Final Fantasy go behind the books thing. You gotta love old 2D stuff like that. It's not quite the same to do it in 3D. I'm a big sucker for just atmospheric um, spook noises. In fact, how did you get some of the um, like the atmospheric background? To here. Like the music? Yeah, there's just ominous hum and so forth. Well, a good majority of the tracks were actually made by Felix. Oh. He's more known for like the ambience soundtracks. Oh, there's the searchlight. Yeah, they're really good. Um... I know he did like 95% of the tracks in his own game. <laughs> oh, I think that's just a test. White speechless. Moved. Yeah, there's a lot of things in here I couldn't find to remove or change. Two jokers have been found. Okay, that's just locked. I'll let you know if there's something hidden behind a door like that. It's a big ladder. I think OSHA would have problems with that. Oh. <laughs> Good at finding those little extra bits. I feel like the couch is like, it's just the colors, but it feels like it would be like made out of meat. Pull the switch. <laughs> the lever did something, very observant. So is Do Mewing just kind of a combination of um, Zachary's two masks? Because he's kind of wearing the frog mask and he kind of mews. Like the cat mask, I guess. Like the idea is, I like to think of it like Zachary just kind of rubbed off on him with the whole meowing thing. But does he meow when he has the cat mask? I don't even remember. Zachary does, yeah. Because uh. he's trying to imitate the judge. Oh, right. I'll have to restream the original off sometime. Yeah, I know there's the 3.0 translation now. You don't understand. In fact, I did stream a little bit of off. I was making a walkthrough and I ended up... I don't know, just getting tired in the middle of it. I didn't finish it. I really should have, but... 
I think that was the first time I ever tried to like actually make a walkthrough, so that's who I ended up giving up. I've got a lot better at it now. Why? <laughs> Something about the blood splat is just very comedic, even though it's obviously not yeah. supposed to be. It's, I guess it's just so sudden and so visceral. Something has changed. I think one of the tricks that a lot of things do for ambient sound stuff is just you take a noise and you just make it really, really slow. Like, um. Better sort of distort it. Yeah. Like, I think, um. Like, crab squid sounds in, um. Subnautica. It's like a creaking door. And you can, <laughs> you can kind of totally hear it. Um. <laughs> one of the sounds they make. And one I think is dolphins. It sounds really good, but you can kind of tell that um, one of the sounds is a door. Um, that's all that I can get to. Oh. I think yeah, I know out. some of the sounds here are like edited from the original offs, but some are. Oh no, I've been here. Uh, I do try and make original sounds. Maybe I'd gone down the stairs. If you want me to tell you, I believe you're done with this area. Oh, really? Yeah. I was looking for a cube, honestly. So that's probably something changed in here. <laughs> yeah, oh. more, more graphical stuff that... Oh! That <laughs> I still need to work on. It's pretty hard to notice until you just bump right into it. Oh! Yeah, like, for me, it's because I already know where to go, what to do, but with other players, they don't know, so they, they're the ones who run into the bugs for me. Yeah. That's one reason, um, when testing stuff, it's always important to get, like, new, fresh testers every, um for every major iteration, because people will be used to, like, issues in early versions, and they might not do stuff. Or they may not see things in, like, uh, you know, that people will originally see, and so <laughs> you end up with problems. Yeah, I, I know I have one designated tester who knows how to somehow break everything. <laughs> All right, well, we will find out what is in the big door next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Sir TapTap. This is Tiny Ghosty. Be right back.